Hi everyone, here is our logic puzzle for today. A prize is placed under one of the five options. Sheila is privately told the shape of the object and Colin is privately told the color of the object. Both Sheila and Colin are mathematicians who use perfect logical reasoning and the initial setup is a common knowledge. The host then said, Though either of you know where the prize is, and there was silence. The host then asked again, Do you know now? And still there is silence. The third time, the host asked, Do you know now? Both Sheila and Colin said yes. The question now is, Where is the prize? You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. And if you already know where the prize is, you can write your answer in our comment section. Now let's solve this puzzle together. Let's create two columns, one for Sheila and one for Colin. And both Sheila and Colin are selecting from five possible answers. Let's begin with the first step here. The host asks both Sheila and Colin if each of them know where the prize is, but both of them were silent. The implication of that is since Sheila knows the shape, if the correct answer is a square, then Sheila would have known already the correct answer right at this first step because there is only one square, but she was silent. This implies that this pink square is not the correct answer. Now for Colin, who knows the right color, and there are only three colors here. We have green, we have pink, and we have this blue. If the correct color is blue, then Colin would have known already the correct answer. He could have chosen this blue circle, but he did not. So that means this blue circle is not the correct answer. And since both Sheila and Colin are mathematicians who use perfect logical reasoning, then Sheila would be able to know that since Colin did not select the blue circle, Sheila will also be able to figure that out that this blue circle is not the correct answer. The same explanation applies to Colin for figuring out that this pink square is not the correct answer. And so we can now eliminate these two objects. Next step, the host then asks, do you know now? And still there's silence. So from the point of view of Sheila, who knows the shape, and there are only two shapes here, if the correct answer is a circle, Sheila would have known the correct answer already because there is only one circle here, but she was silent. So this green circle must be the wrong answer. On the other hand, from the point of view of Colin, who knows the right color, if the correct answer is pink color, then Colin would not be silent at this stage because there's only one pink. The fact that he is silent says that the right color is not pink but rather green. And he cannot decide because there are still two shapes with green color. And so we can now eliminate this pink triangle. And Sheila, being a mathematician with a perfect logical reasoning, will be able to figure out that this is not the correct object. The same with Colin figuring out that this green circle is not the correct object. And so we are now left with this green triangle, both for Sheila and Colin. And that is the reason why at step number three, both Sheila and Colin said yes. They know the answer and the prize is hidden under this green triangle. Thanks to my and your decision for this problem. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video.